This is a Thor News presentation. Thor News presents New Alien Planet Found Around New Brown Dwarves. Well, new is in relation to celestial physics. One year ago is when we found them. It's pretty new, man. No matter how you slice that peanut butter bread. Alien Planet. That sounds cool. All right, the straight facts of this video. The two new nearest brown dwarfs to Earth in our solar system have a planet floating around it. That's super cool. And this is 2013 final days. So how anybody even define facts, man? I got no clue. But those are the facts as I know them. And I got that info from Poseidon. So I'm just running with it. But that's it. Yeah, okay. I'll read some and I'll spit out some numbers. And then I'll speculate and get wild imaginationally. And I'll think out loud a little and I'll maybe, 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 maybe make an ass of myself a bit. All right, we're looking over on the Huffington Post. Huff Post, sir. Uh, astronomers have spotted signs of a possible exoplanet in a nearby system of twin failed stars. I think calling brown dwarfs, red dwarfs, green dwarfs, failed stars is more like failed naming. I mean, that's kind of binary thinking, ain't it? It's either a star or it's a failed star. There's no in between. More like star babies? Scientists only discovered the pair of failed stars known as brown dwarfs last year at just 6.6 .6 light years from Earth. All right, ladies and gentlemen, tonight, we are cross-hatching some of my favorite subjects. Brown dwarfs, planets known but outside of our solar system. Brown dwarf scientists who do happen to include Amy Mazer. And this photograph or image or whatever you want to call it. I think it's awesome. It's cool. It's neat looking. It's two-dimensional, so it's flawed. But still, I can stare at it and my mind wanders. So we are talking about the new alien planet found by the closest, latest brown dwarf finds that I did happen to show quite often throughout the last year of my channel. Because this footage is fascinating. It's like, hey, we found two brown dwarfs. So does one hatch like a sun, and the other is just a Jupiter, which modern science would call a gas giant, which is insufficient in my lexicon of vocabulary. It's like, what is Jupiter? It's a gas giant. Okay, great. Makes it sound just like a balloon. It's like a Bloom giant. Okay, great. Well, tonight, Jupiter is about the brightest thing in the sky. And I'm not sure all of its reflectivity is based upon its reflectivity. And it seems more like a silicate to me. Anyway, the whole point of the article is like, okay, you know, those two brown giants we discussed once or twice. And we said we're kind of near us. You know, in the same nearance as Alpha Centauri and the Bernard stars. Right, right? Okay, great. Well, we think we found a planet by him. But of course, it's probably just a giant rock or gas giant. And Thor News is here to say, of course, it's probably way more than that. The pair is the third closest system to our sun. And I do believe it is the closest set of just brown dwarfs to our sun. Kevin Luman of Penn State's Center for Exoplanets and Habitable Worlds noted when their discovery was first announced in June. Actually so close that television transmissions from 2006 are now arriving there. I wonder what wonderful television we had in 2006 The aliens would love to watch. I guess they can use Dexter as an example of how American adults treat each other. Friday Night Lights to see what we do to entertain ourselves. Heroes to let them know we're not all bad. 30 Rock. Well, that's fine. I think Tracy Jordan would be a wonderful ambassador to the aliens. And then Hannah Montana. So that when the aliens get here by space folding... They can be like, holy crap, what happened to that girl? You know what? If you stick around until the end, I think I'll continue to riff on what aliens will be watching from our 2006 television. But uh, right now I'm going to get back to the science. The brown dwarf system, which has been dubbed Lumen 16AB and is officially classified as WISE J104915.57-531906. It is slightly more distant than Bernard's star, a red dwarf six light years away. That was first seen in 1916. Even closer to our sun is Alpha Centauri, whose two main stars form a binary pair about 4.4 light years away. But you know, if you fold space, it's only like a day away. Yeah, all you gotta do is fold space just like a napkin. And then, you can go wherever you want in like a day. It's only a day away. If you fold space, the brown dwarfs were spotted in data from NASA's Wide Field Infrared Survey Explorer, the WISE spacecraft, 
run by the beautiful and talented and definitely not Thor fan Amy Mainzer. Wonder what her hair smells like. Bet it smells good, like mountains and rainbows and chocolate and roses and flower petals. Which took about 1.8 images of asteroid stars and galaxies during its ambitious 13-month mission to scan the entire sky. Brown dwarfs are sometimes called failed stars because they are bigger than planets, but don't enough mass to kick off nuclear fusion at their core. Well, I think that's a mistake. Don't enough mass. That's a mistake. Don't have enough mass, just like Huffo Psy doesn't have enough editors. Henry Bofin, man, there's a last name to be saddled with, Bofin, of the European Southern Observatory, ESO, led a team of astronomers seeking to learn more about our newfound dim neighbors. The group used a very sensitive FORS-2 instrument on the ESO's very large telescope, VLT. ESO VLT. That sounds like a delicious sandwich. I just hope it has bacon. In par in par anal. <laughs> really? Okay. Doesn't that mean with anal? What is up with all the sexual innuendo always in celestial physics? To take astrometric measurements of the object during a two-month observation campaign from April to June. We have been able to measure the positions of these two objects with a precision of a few milli arc seconds. Boffin said in a statement, That is like a person in Paris being able to measure the position of someone in New York with a precision of 10 centimeters. And then I guess also being able to tell their mass, density, angular movement. It's called satellites, bro. The group discovered that both brown dwarfs in the system have a mass 30 to 50 times the mass of Jupiter. By comparison, our sun's mass is about 1,000 Jupiter masses, or 1 million Catholic masses. Because their mass is so low, they take about 20 years to complete one orbit around each other, the astronomer said. What? Uh, I like science's ability to put a round peg in a square hole. That's what she said. Bofin's team also discovered slight disturbances in the orbits of these objects during their two-month observation period. They believed the tug of a third object Perhaps a planet around one of the two brown dwarfs could be behind these slight variations. Wow. Alien planet. That sounds cool. Further observations are required to confirm the existence of a planet. Meaning, more money is going to be needed. But man, that's cool. I support brown dwarfs. Or stories about brown dwarfs. But it may well turn out that the closest brown dwarf binary system to the sun turns out to be a triple star system. Black star. So far only eight exoplanets have been discovered around brown dwarfs. And they were found through microlensing and direct imaging, the astronomers say. The team added that the potential planet in Lovin 16AB could be the first alien discovered using astrometry, if confirmed. This article was written by Megan Gannon and then cut and paste all over the internet. And every newspaper, pseudo internets magazine. Isn't it weird how science only has one reporter on a story nowadays? They're like, who got time to cover this story when a Duck Dynasty guy got fired and then rehired and Miley Cyrus is still acting like an 18-year-old rich famous girl? Space can wait. <laughs> and really, who knows under which circumstances the universe can create life? I know science thinks it knows, but I don't think science knows, man. And who on our planet of the Earth thinks they know how many ways the universe can create life on a planet that has a star. Whether it be a quote professional science titled failed star, unquote professional science titled, or like a Jupiter-y thing. Think of like a Jupiter-y thing crossed with water. Wait, that's crazy. All right, lay in a hammock, close your eyes, breathe 10 times. Think of the beach and the coolest animal you've ever met. Open your eyes, stare at the stars. You're good? Okay, let's get back to it. So yeah, they found a planet hanging out with two brown dwarfs really close to us using close as a relativity factor of compared to the rest of the entire universe or galaxy oh i have said too much yeah that's true so once again i get to ask dumbass questions like hey you yo yeah can jupiter have an ignition can jupiter go sun i'm guessing definitely maybe 50 50 that's what i'm putting it at and people are gonna be like maybe no you're wrong I'm like, hey, how do you know? And from what I understand, you're gonna be like, okay. We shot out the camera. We looked at the colors that represent what its material will be made of. And that's how we determined it. I'm like, yeah, dude, but uh, from what I know in life, you can't walk on it. You can't talk on it. You can't swim in it. You can't surf around it. And you can't even lay your eyes on it. Really? And watch it. 
Now you got no clue, dude. You don't really know how the duck walks. You don't really know how the duck talks. You don't really know how the duck quacks. And you don't know how the duck stacks. Or nor for how the duck attacks. You got theories at the wazoo. Swag theories. Sweet ass guess. No, I know. No, I know. Hey. All right, rock and roll, brown dwarfs. Sidebar, end of all seriousness. Now I talk about dumb shit I talk about. I had a major crush on Amy Mainzer. She's beautiful, she's smart, and she's strong enough to be the face of the wise team. All right, after a period of time, she blocked me on Twitter. And I can't really think of a single thing that represents you have no chance with a female more than her blocking you on Twitter. So not only did Ison die, and I got pegged with the Ison, I disappoint meme on my chest. I got blocked on Twitter by my super crush in the process. Man, this was not how I had planned for it to go. Or wished or hoped. Anywho, I'm going to lay here for a moment, let my wounds heal. But I will rise to fight another day. Yeah, so Amy Mains is a lot like Snow White and the 12 brown dwarfs. That sounds gross. I don't know why. You'd think her dress would be dirty. Get your mind out of the gutter. Celestial physicians. Celestial doctors. The two new nearest brown dwarfs to Earth. Actually so close that television transmissions from 2006 are now arriving there. I wonder what wonderful television we had in 2006. The aliens would love to watch. But then I guess they could watch Life on Mars to find out what it's like there. So they don't have to visit and spend money. Mickey Mouse Club. That seems appropriate since uh, it's a Mickey Mouse Earth. Or I guess they could find out how advertising lies. In America's Got Talent. Okay, that was a joke. Calm down. Real Housewives of Orange County. Aliens could quickly learn why our divorce rate is 73%. Man vs. Wild. Man, really, societies like Man vs. Mild, Mediocre, or Bad Girls Club. A group of rebellious women are put in a house together in an experiment intended to moderate their behavior. Alright, side story at the end about that Bad Girls Club. I think I actually watched five minutes of that show way back when. And I thought it was hilarious because it had like a group of women who had just arrived in Vegas for like four days. And they fought for like two hours on who got what bedroom, who was sleeping where. And I'm like, do you ladies know how little time you spend in your hotel room when you were in Vegas? At best, you use it to shower and keep your luggage. Really? Spending hours in Vegas arguing over who gets a good room? You guys never been to Vegas before, man? All right. But if I did my job, I got you to think of a question I didn't think of. It's still pretty cool. And I made you laugh. I always love to laugh, dude. And do that. True. I do. I do. I do. I sure do get a big kick out of being a classic romantic. God bless everyone. And the universe, help us a little more, please. Yeah. Alien planet. That sounds cool.